Hey what's up guys, so in this video I'm gonna show you an overview of Chroma ROM and an installation tutorial. So Chroma ROM is a lightweight AOSP custom ROM and in this custom ROM you will find all the required mods and tools to improve performance, battery and stability. So with this custom ROM you will get a lot of new features added to your device and the developer of this custom ROM brings out updates very quickly as you will not be receiving updates from Google now, you need to manually install those updates. So overall this custom ROM is very fast and smooth as you can see. And inside the settings menu, you will find a new option called Chroma. And from this option you can just change a lot of things about this custom ROM. From status bar you can change the battery icon. And you can also change the brightness of your screen by sliding your finger over the status bar. And double tapping the status bar will turn off the screen. You can just enable or disable these features from here. And from here you can change a lot of things about the quick settings panel. You can rearrange icons, add new ones and change the layout of the quick settings panel. And from the navigation bar option, you can change the color of the buttons. And from here you have the option to add an application or shortcut as a ring target beside the Google Now option you can choose to have three of them and you'll also have a clear all option in the recent app menu instead of closing individual applications you can just click this button and all of those applications will be closed at once and from power menu you can choose the options which you want to be displayed in it and from the volume rocker option you can choose to use your volume buttons as to wake up your device and you can also use it to control media and inside display you have an option called expanded notifications from there you can choose to disable the soft key buttons for any applications this can be useful for some games and inside notifications you will have an option to control led notification light it's not there in nexus 6 by default but you can gain it after rooting your device and in this custom rom it's enabled by default you can just choose which color you want for which notification so to install this custom ROM on your device, your phone must have a custom recovery installed and the bootloader must be unlocked. If you don't know how to do it, check the link below in the description box for a tutorial. So first, uh, to install this custom ROM, you must download the ROM files. So head over to the link below in the description box, it will take you to the XDA forum. And from here you can download the ROM file, gapps file and the super user file if you want to have root access. Uh, once you have downloaded the required files, copy it to your device. Once the transfer is complete, turn off the device. Then press the volume down and the power button at the same time and you will boot into the bootloader mode. From there navigate to recovery using the volume down button and enter to the recovery using the power button. Once you have rebooted into recovery mode, we must perform a full wipe before installing this custom ROM. If you are updating this ROM, you just don't need to perform a full wipe, you can just go and install the ROM. So to perform a full wipe, we need to wipe data, cache and dalvik cache. Make sure you wipe the data, cache and dalvik cache. Once it's done, go to install. Choose zip from SD card and navigate to the ROM file and install that file. It may take a while for the installation to be completed. Once the installation is complete, go back and install the apps file. Once you have installed the gapps file, go back and install the super user file if you want to have the root access. Once all of those files have been installed, reboot your device. Uh, for the first boot, it will take few minutes for your device to boot up. So here my device has rebooted and I have successfully installed this custom ROM on my device. So if you have any queries, let me know in the comment section below or contact me on the social medias. The links are below in the description box. So that's it. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.